Hello everybody, how are you? How are you doing? It's your uh, Mathematic Murad Sultan Zwidi. Just we'll continue, let's say, part two and part uh, three of the math final exam revision. We'll start. So, uh, okay, I'll start from this. Given the function of of x equal x cubed minus 6x squared plus 11x minus 6. The question is show that x minus 1 is a linear factor of, of x simply because uh, simply you are going to do f of x means you will make substitution and check if it is equal to 0 or not. So out comes there. I'll just make f of 1 f of 1 I will just calculate it, it will be 1 to the power 3 minus 6 multiplied by 1 squared okay between parentheses of course 1 squared plus 11 multiplied by 1 multiply by multiply by 1 minus 6 this one it's clear that equal to 0 equal to 0 so therefore therefore x minus 1 x minus 1 is a linear factor is a linear factor okay then this is for the sub question eh? for the second one hence factorize the the expression fully first of all my learners we are going to do like that okay so x minus 1 x minus 1 is a linear factor is a linear factor so so f of x equal so f of x equal x minus between parentheses I'll just erase this one x minus x minus 1 multiply by then I will open the parentheses then look here x squared then minus 6 plus plus 1 gives minus 5x minus 5x then plus minus 5x okay plus 6 so now I finish it just I will write this one I will make here okay so we told x minus 1 is in a factor means that x minus f of x is divided by x minus 1 okay then I will try to factorize the following one x squared minus 6x you can use the method of factorization or quadratic formula to factorize this so this one is equal to equal to x equal x minus 2 multiply by x minus 3 okay now I already know I fully factorize this one I will just write this as f of x therefore therefore okay therefore therefore we have f of x equal f of x equal between parentheses x minus 1 multiply by x minus 2 multiply by x minus 3 x minus 3 okay then for the second one you are going to solve this solve this equation okay question number uh, the sub question c solve 4x x cubed minus 6x square plus 11x minus 6 equals 0. You already you can substitute here 1 cubed minus 6. I will just write here 1 minus 6 plus 11 minus 6 is equal to 0. Therefore, therefore x equal 1 is a root, is the first root is a root of the 
polynomial function polynomial polynomial function okay then then here you are going to make to divide this by by that as we did this before there I will just write it here I write it as the last answer copy then I will put it here so equal zero means what means x minus one equals zero or x minus two equals zero or x minus three equals zero okay so the roots the roots are what are x equal one then or x equal two or x equal three these are the roots of my polynomial function x equal equal one okay for the next question we have if x cubed plus y cubed is equal to x plus y between parentheses multiply by x squared plus x y plus y cubed plus y squared here then you try to find the value of c so here you are going to use the definition i will use the definition of binomial function so i will just write here the answer okay so this one learns equal to what x plus y multiply by x multiply by x squared minus one then i will raise the c if you are going to uh, equating both terms what is uh, written on the second bracket okay this one with that you will get let's say we'll conclude that c is equal to minus one therefore therefore x what is therefore equation therefore yes therefore c is equal to c equal negative one clear may it will be the exam x minus x cubed minus y cubed it will be x minus y minus y multiplied by x squared plus one xy plus y squared okay this is depends on the question okay the next part here find the value of b and c such that x cubed x squared divide by x squared minus 4x plus 3 so here you are going to use the long division okay so already one is given which is a i will just write this one here copy then i will paste it here okay we told that we will use the long division i will uh, make like that this is x squared okay copy and control okay equation tools i will go to symbols Divided by what? Divided by x squared. This divided by that. And then, therefore, I will use here. What is x squared? Okay. Now I will just put, uh, I will insert a line to make or to create the, uh, the long division I will make like that okay now 
we can, if you see x squared divided by x give us give us one i will just write here one then one multiplied by x squared is x squared x squared then plus 1 multiplied by negative 4 it will be negative 4x then I will I should let's say reverse the sign plus 4x then plus 3 I will write negative 3 so x squared minus x squared is 0 so the last answer the, the rest of the remainder is 4x minus 3 so I will just write this as I will just write this as I'll put it here, then I will complete. So one, because this is the quotient is one. Okay, plus, plus, uh, okay, this one is equal to what? Equal four X, four X plus, okay. We told yes, four X minus three. Minus three, I will just write it here, okay. This is the remainder, okay. So, you see the reminder my learners, I will write it equal to, okay, means that this is 1 plus, I will just write this one, okay, copy and complete. So, here I will make 4x squared, 4x minus 3, 4x minus 3 divided by divided by x squared minus 4x plus 3 now I will equate this one okay with, with this minus we will make here b times b times b times x minus 3 multiply plus c times C times x minus x minus one, okay, x minus one. Then I will close the parentheses. This one should be equal to four x minus three. <coughs> I will label this equation as I will label this equation as equation number two. Equation equation two, okay. Then I will put two points. Now to find b and c, it's very easy. Just will put put let's say x equal x equal 1 in 2 in equation 2 we will get we'll get what we'll get uh, b times 2 minus 2 minus 3 is minus b minus b minus 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 b equal equal what equal 4 multiply multiply by 1 it will be 1 equal 1 okay therefore then so b is equal b is equal to what is equal to negative one then for let's say uh, the next part for a just will make put x equal x equal for uh, for b we found b now now put x equal three to find what in equation two of course in equation two to find in equation equation 2 so we will get what we will get c means a 3 minus 1 is 2 I will just write 2c equal what equal 4 multiplied by 3 is 12 okay minus minus 3 gives 9 okay therefore c is equal to 9 over 2 9 divided by sorry 9 divided by 2 yes okay so this is the last answer the next one now we move to the this function f of x equal 5 minus 3x square 3x minus 2x cubed so 
uh, and for the domain is x is a real number and x is between negative 3 and 3 is at an interval the question is find f of 1 first of all just calculation f of 1 will make 5 minus 3 multiply by 1 then minus 2 multiply by 1 square okay 1 square 1 square is 1 okay so it will be we told that uh, it will be 5 minus 5 is 0 so it will be 5 minus 5 is equal to 0 now state the range the range I will use the domain here see the domain the domain is what this is the domain by learners to uh, find the range just you will do like that this is I will just write here domain is domain is two points is x real numbers such that x is lies between negative 3 and 3 so the, for the range we should let's say uh, the range will be let's say uh, like that range <coughs> is y because we are going to find the value of f of x which is y and here f of I'll just write here f of 3 y f of 3 here because simply because the function is increase and decreasing function okay f of 3 and here f of negative 3 f of negative 3 just calculation learns you will just find the value of 3 and the value of negative 3 and you write your answer okay this is how can you uh, to answer a kind of questions like that now find the value of m such that f of m equals 0 I will use my function this is f of m like that I will put it here so I will make f of m I'll just substitute x by m equal what equal 5 minus 3m 3m minus 2m square m square is equal to 0 just you will solve this this quadratic equation okay means that I will use the quadratic formula so the first root is the first root m equal m equal 1 is the first root then the second root is m equal equal 5 over negative 2 minus negative 5 divided by 2 which is negative 2.5 this is the two roots of are the two values of m okay then here you can let's say discuss about the value of 3 I'll just calculate it here it will be 5 okay I'll just calculate it it will be what so we told uh, 5 minus 3 multiply by 3 okay minus 2 multiply by 9 this is is negative 22 this is is negative equal to negative 22 okay then for f of uh, negative 3 I'll just write t equal it will be 5 plus 15 minus 2 multiplied by 9 give us 2 this is 2 okay so uh, both okay both answers are accepted because they are belonging or they are lying between negative 22 and 2 okay both answers are correct for example if m equal we suppose the equal 50 for example and the second m equal negative 2.5 so we should exclude one because doesn't belong to the range of the function okay for this one more learners if y equal x squared plus 2x minus 3 y 
prime or the first derivative of the function uh, equal to x plus 2 then find okay find what find let's say the coordinates of the point here labeled x y when the gradient is m equal to here my learns will write 2x will write 2x equal 2x plus 2 equal m equal the gradient m okay then then you will make what 2x 2x plus 2 equal to therefore x is equal to 0 okay so this point the first the, or the x value is 0 here okay for the coordinates well x is 0 so it will be negative negative here is 0 okay so it will be negative 3 this is now the uh, the x value now we are going to find find the y value find the y value find the y value when x equal what when x equal um, yes equal 0 just go to your function this is your function you will substitute x by by what x by 0 so I'll just write it here therefore it will be 0 squared 0 squared minus 2 multiply by 0 okay multiply by 0 minus 3 minus minus y equal negative 3 so y is equal to negative 3 okay now I found let's say the coordinates of the point of the curve when the gradient is equal to 2 uh, move to the next part the next part is looking for finding the tangent the equation of the tangent at this point okay so here the equation of the tangent at this point we have a formula I will just write the formula y minus y1 which is what y1 it's uh, negative negative 3 negative negative gives positive plus 3 equal the gradient is 2 from the beginning multiply by by x minus 0 okay then just let's say expanding this gives what y equal uh, 2x minus 3 this is the equation of the tangent okay what else now find the coordinates of the stationary points of the curve it's very easy stationary point means what my learners means you are going to find the first derivative of the function and you should let's say put this uh, uh, derived function equal to zero so i will make dy with respect to x okay dy i will use this one dy with respect to x so dy dy with respect to x is equal to here come of course okay is equal to what equal minus 2x plus 4 okay now I will try to make this equal to 0 so I will put I will put this one now stationary point means what stationary stationary point means that or means that dy with respect to x should be equal to 0 okay therefore minus 2x plus 4 equals 0 means 2x equal 4 then you should divide by 2 so x is equal to 2 now you should let's say now uh, uh, see if it is a maximum point or a minimum point you should find the second derivative of the function so the second derivative my learners means y double dash okay y double dash okay is equal to what i will differentiate this again give us negative two negative two or my my kids is already negative so negative so here we have a maximum point we have a maximum maximum point okay and then what else okay just okay so this is what uh, 
what is missing my learners I wish that I got the point how can you solve some questions like that okay thank you and goodbye